Yo, what up, YouTube? Um, I hope everyone is having a good year so far. Um, so in this video, I wanted to show you guys a simple project that we're going to be working on in the next couple of videos. Well, it's not really that simple, but it's simple in a sense where we're just going to create um, a simple Android app where a user can sign in and register for an account and basically just show the user's information. So as you can see, I already have my uh, virtual device running uh, up and running here on the right side of the screen and um, basically this is the main landing page or as as they refer to it in uh, in android uh, the main activity and then we have a welcome message and two buttons so these two buttons um, redirect us to either the sign up page or the sign in page now if i were to sh i'm just going to show you what they both look like so this is basically this is the design and then if you click on sign up by the way, please bear with me, guys. This is a virtual device, and so it's going to be a bit slow. So um, um, it's going to look a bit laggy in, in, in certain areas. So as you can see, by clicking the sign-up page, it took us to this particular sign-up page here. So we can fill in our first name, last name, email, password, confirm password, and then basically sign up. Now, um, if I were to click here on this link below here, where it says uh, already have an account, if I say lo log in, it's going to take us to the sign up page. Now, both the sign in and sign up, they both have these two links with the, right below the sign in or sign up button. And then if you want to go back to the main page, you just have to click this back button over here. And then it's going to take us to the to the main page itself. So, by the way, the this particular app is connecting to a back end set up within Spring Boot. So basically our endpoints are going to be set up within spring uh, we're basically setting up restful um, uh, endpoints so as you can see this particular class i've annotated it as a rest controller so basically we can set set up um we can set up uh, restful endpoints up uh, by annotating this class as a rest controller so we only have a few which is the login and the and the register one so this is the register one and then here we have the login, uh, what you call it, rest, um, rest endpoint. So don't worry too much about what you see here. We will, I will show you how to set all of this up. But yeah, our backend is going to be set up within Spring Boot. And so, um, so basically this app, once you sign in, it connects to this, uh, to a Spring Boot uh, backend, and then it registers the user. And then if they are logging in, it's pretty much the same thing. So, um, I don't have the server running, so I'm just going to click on this to have the server up and running. I'm going to pause the video. Once it's back up, we're going to test and see if we can register a new user within our app and also log in. And then you will see the profile activity, what it looks like after that. Uh, just give me one second. All right, guys, I'm back. So our server um, set up within Spring Boot is currently running. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come back here to our Android app. By the way, this is Android Studio. Even though it looks the same, it's pretty much um, an, an IntelliJ IDE. But even though they, they they will refer to it as a as a as a as a what you call it Android Studio. So now the first thing we're gonna do is to sign up. So we're gonna click on the sign up button there, and then we're just gonna create a user. So I'm just gonna call him Tom. By the way, like I said, guys, just bear with me uh, because this is a virtual med uh, device. It's gonna be a bit laggy, so um yeah so i've got the caps lock on so this is tom uh let's just call him tom andrews and then we're gonna say the email is tom andrews um at some email address and then we're gonna say dot com and then we're going to create a password. So we're going to say password one, two, three, and then password one, two, three. All right. So that's pretty much it. And then now once we've done filling in all the forms, um, we're going to click sign up and then we should see a message here. If we, our sign up is successful and though you have it, so user registration successful, please proceed to log in. So now, as you can see, after registering, the data doesn't actually go away. So the button, I've set it so that after the user has successfully registered on the system, uh, the button should disappear. Otherwise, the user will then click multiple times to um, register. So now let's click on log in. And then let me just quickly come back here to our database. So as you can see, 
I already have it up and running. The, I have a couple of users already set up there. So if I click uh, select all from users, as you can see, there's our user there, Tom Andrews, the one we just um, we just re uh, registered. So I'm just gonna copy this email here. And then I'm gonna paste it here within where it says username. By the way, we are in the login activity. So I'm just gonna paste that. Uh, actually, let me click on the clipboard and then click on there. Okay. And then now we're gonna put in our password, which was password one, two, three. And then after that, when we're gonna click on sign in, Um, by the way, there's also validation. So, um, some email address. Okay. So it's giving us an issue there. What did I say? Uh, tom.andrews at some email address.com. Okay. So it looks like, um, our validation there is refusing to let our email address go through. So let's re register with a different email account. So let's say, um, Jessica um, Thompson. I'm just guessing these names, by the way. And then let's just say Jessica dot uh, Thompson at gmail dot com. All right. Um, and then let's just say password one two three. Password one two three. All right. Uh, sign up. Okay. User registration successful, as you can see down there. So I'm just gonna copy. Uh, I'm gonna copy this email address. Uh, let's say. Copy. And then let's go to sign in. Okay. Okay, at gmail.com. So that's just his email there. So now let's put in the password. Let's just give it a second there. All right, so the password is finally filled in. Just gonna minimize that. And then now we're gonna sign in. Okay, so as you can see, after you've successfully signed in, this is where the 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 where you will land. So this is just showing the user's name, surname, and email address, which is what we registered with. So let's just quickly refresh here. So as you can see, that's Jessica Thompson, and that's her email. Um, and then, and then as you can see, that's the data we get back once the user is successfully logged in. So like I said, the rest points are set up within um, Spring Boot. And so I'll show you the method uh, that returns. Okay, yeah, so as you can see, it takes in a request body, which is login. Um, you will see how we set this up. And then we get the user, we get the user details. And then if everything is correct, um, it returns, um, a user object to that to that uh, calling application, and then that's what we are seeing here. So basically, this is basically what we're going to be building within this project. So now I'm just going to sign out, and you will see uh, once we sign out, it just removes the data, and then it's going to take us back to the main page. And then there you have it. So 
Um, basically, that's what we're going to be building in this application. Like I said, uh, the back end is set up within Spring Boot, and then we're going to set up our endpoints using Spring Boot itself. And then you're going to see how we're going to make this particular application here within Android Studio. Um, you will see everything from scratch. And by the way, just to let you know, we're going to be using a library uh, to make our, our HTTP requests. So the library we're going to be using is called Volley. Um, this is it here. I've inserted, I've in, you have to set it up as a dependency within the Gradle file. Again, I will show you um, um, in, in, when we when we get to the stage how we how we set this all up, and uh, what are the methods that we need to call in order to do our um, our, our our requests. And so um, so yeah, guys, um, this is basically what we're going to be doing uh, within this project. So guys, if you don't know anything about Android. Um, I'm not going to go in depth in terms of uh, how Android is, what, what Android is and all of the stuff that we're going to be doing, but I will leave in the description below links to other channels that I've been watching for the past couple of weeks um, in regards to um, Android development, whether it's in Java or Kotlin. We are going to be using Java, but like I said, I'll leave the resources within the description below and then you guys can check out those, um, those channels if you want to learn more about Android development. Um, so for me, I'm just practicing as well because I'm new to Android. And so therefore, um, all the stuff that you see here, this is just all new to me. So I just wanted to use this opportunity to practice a little bit more. And um, yeah, man, I hope um, whatever I do within this project, you guys will learn just as much as I have. So in any case, if you've liked what you've seen so far, guys, um, everything else I will explain uh, as we uh, uh, throw out the series. And so, um, um, all the other stuff, um, like I said, I'll just leave resources in the description and then you can just check them out if you want to learn more. Again, if you've liked what you've seen so far, uh, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and cheers for now.